wheelchair service is actually brilliant. Um, yeah, brilliant, because I'm the driver. Yeah, so if you have a serious injury, like I do, um, don't have too much pride not to get a wheelchair for a number of reasons. For your own sake and your body's sake, don't put it through it. Don't put yourself through it. Um, you get carried. In, in, this, in this case, uh, by a Jew, but some other cases by a friendly porter. Uh, and you tend to whiz by. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, you tend to whiz by security checks. Security and also you get priority boarding because you know you need to. Um, and also it's lower, the, the, the level's lower down here, so the air is slightly cooler and you get a breeze as you, as you travel. So it's great for a number of reasons. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> you can go with yourself. <laughs> so yeah, it's good, it's good. Like that, we're out. Uh, yeah, they even help lo load your stuff. So yeah, tax galore. We had much time to kill before our flight, so we took a tour of the accessible airport space, played some cards, and just played around. Hi guys! Hi guys, I'm Ruth. And I'm Ju. And together we're London, London Munch. So we are currently um, on the plane and we are leaving Bangkok where we've stayed here for three nights and we are en route to Phuket. Yes, and we're flying by a Thai line. See you when we get there. As much as we loved Bangkok, we was excited to get to the islands. The flight took about one hour and 20 minutes. There doesn't seem to be any passport control or checks on arrival. We went straight from the plane to baggage claim and then um, now exiting. But yeah, that was smooth. It helps with the wheelchair assistance to be fair. But yeah, let us take you to our accommodation and show you about. Yeah. Touchdown Phuket. Yes, we made it. It was super quick getting out of the airport. Um, we, like, so far in Thailand, the processes for us at least have been super efficient, super quick. It helps that we had the wheelchair service, but generally speaking, it's been without complaints, without flaws, and it's been, it's been great. Now we're on our way to our hostel, and yeah, we're staying in a hostel. It's called Love the Hostel. And it's, it's actually a party hostel because it was a great idea before I got injured. Nah. Bearing in mind, obviously with Rue's injury, luckily we did actually book a um, private room. Yes. An ensuite private room, which yeah. is not like we're hosteling like we were when we were travelling with 12 yeah. other people. Yeah, yeah. We've we're not going to want private sharing. ensuite, which yeah. is all good. And obviously yeah. it suits the fact that we have got... But yeah. Injured, so. yeah, no, we're, we're still looking forward to it. It still should be good. Um, it's probably not somewhere I would have chose given my situation, however, I'm sure it's going to be fun anyway. But yeah, I look forward to showing you all around Love the Hostel and whatnot. And bear in mind, the coming days is the Songkran Festival, so it should be especially hyped, especially exciting time ahead. So Let's just say we've had a good, relaxing introduction, shall we say, yes. to Thailand um, with our three nights in Bangkok. So with our five days here in Phuket, let's just say we go and turn up as much as we can, as much as yeah. the leg will allow as, us. As much as the situation will allow. <laughs> but yeah, we'll see you at the hostel. Yep. The drive from airport to Patong, where our accommodation was, was around about an hour drive, but a pleasant one given our new surroundings.
Lovdi is a chain of party hostels across Southeast Asia, including Cambodia, Japan and the Philippines. It's relatively cheap and there's a lot going on, but more so than anything, we knew we were situated right bang in the thick of it. Wow. made it to Love D Hostel. It's a lot going on, it's hectic. I'm getting a bit excited, I can't lie. <laughs> and I'm trying to check out everything, but it's only so fast I can move to check out everything. But there's a lot going on. There's little corners of, of the floor and there's something going on in every corner. You literally walk into the building. It's, there isn't even like a door or anything. You literally just walk in, you come in, there's a like those sofa seating area, hammocks vinyl section in the little nook but you can see the swimming pool you can see like a bar you can see everything. people playing, yeah, people uh, playing. beer pong lads drinking well it's a vibe lads drinking it's a vibe it's a vibe it's a vibe there's a lot going on there's a there's a code to have a free spin there's a whatsapp group for the hostel so you can find out what activities are going on it's a very clever market employee by the hostel but it, it does well but yeah just gonna finish checking in now so we yeah. can go to our room. We'll show you our room, then we'll hopefully show you a little bit more. But the sun <laughs> is setting and it's getting darker real quick. But yeah, in a bit. Thank you so much. Alright, so there's lifts, third floors. Third floor. There's hella stuff going on. It's hella hot as well. Yeah, it's humid. And Jews dragging both of these, so it's a lot going on. It's all good. Okay, grateful for the lifts. Stick your stick out colour. So if you said left and left the other. Yeah, I guess so. Lovely hostel guys, we are based in room 336, which is here. Dink! Let me put this bad boy here. Welcome to our crib. So we've literally just checked in, made it to the room. Rue's enjoying the little balcony that yeah, we've got. Nice. Got a cute little double bed situation here. And then reversing back out. Got a cute little shower. Yeah. Basin, bathroom, exactly what we need. It's small, it's neat. We were spoiled in the last place, but it's, it's, it's nice, it's tidy, it's clean, and there's, that's a cute little balcony. Uh, yeah, Is there anything nice. to see it's outside? Nice. I'm happy. It's just a cute, cute little area. Yeah. Oh, and it's super humid. Oh, it smells like fire, so it smells like something's burning. We can see the stars, I can't wait to see. The night sky tonight. The, the, the feelings remind me of Sri Lanka. And Philippines for me. So we're really excited to be here. Um, I think one of our worries, well my worry, was um, kind of getting here and it being a party hostel. We were just going to hear and, hear and kind of no, see yeah, everything. No, no. But no, we are actually far not, away from it's, it's very much the a busyness. Party hostel. It's very much a touristy destination. And uh, what's, what's the other thing I was going to say? Oh yeah, we're ready to begin island life. We've got that, those island feels right now and we're ready to kickstart island life. So let's go. Let's go, let's do let's this. Go. So I've just experienced one of our um, tropical, not pet peeves, but obviously my my parents are from the Philippines, Rui's parents are from Sri Lanka and we were just saying obviously the weather, the environment, like being here on the island, we're island people <laughs> <laughs> and I'm here by our little nook at the front of our room and dude, this thing was like camouflaged into the wood so I don't even know where it's gone but into this wood, it was like a little baby gecko Yeah. Baby geckos are fine, by the way. I originally thought it was a cockroach, and we jumped a little bit, but it's not a cockroach. <laughs> it's a baby gecko, and baby geckos are absolutely fine. Baby geckos are welcomed. You're going to help us, like, 
munch up any spiders, any um, mosquitoes that are yeah. about. You do your thing. There won't but be any mosquitoes because AC is working very well right very now. Very well, but, but bro, don't go camouflaging yourself into the <laughs> yeah. wood like that and then like, just just running around while I'm looking at something. Just don't do it. But no, it's cool. We're cool. I've made my peace that we have got a friend yes. in the room, which is fine. No We're problem. <laughs> just wanted to document that because I actually almost peed myself. Oh, I got a little bit scared. But yeah. Right. Gonna do a bit of unpacking. Excited of, yeah. to sort ourselves out, get some food, and then come check out the hostel again, see what's good, and yeah, plan ahead. Let's do this! Yeah! We got real tropical island paradise vibes with all the fruit we saw on our way to our accommodation, and was pleased to see so much more fruit just outside of our accommodation. Longans were on our list of fruits to try. And I got to try it here, early doors. Thank you. Kopkan crab? Kopkun crab. Kopkun crab. Mmm. Is that lychee? Is that lychee? That's so delicious. Kopkun crab. Mmm. That's so nice. That is so nice. Okay. Yeah, so we haven't got an um, organised place to visit today, so we're just trying somewhere which is local and got decent um, Google reviews. So it's a three minute walk, so not too uh, much of a strain for me. And yeah, this, this is our first night in Phuket and I'm super excited actually. The vibe in the hostel is crazy, it's got me, it's got me feeling like my leg ain't broken. Um, yeah. But yeah, I'm excited. For this one, we worked off location and a Google rating of 4.7. So we've gone for so we've gone for a few favourites, which is we're going to share a pad thai, we're going to have a prawn in Penang curry, and we're going to go for squid with black pepper and a bowl of plain rice. And all right, so what do you Could we get one uh, pad thai to share, please? One pad thai. Yes, please. Uh, you want shrimp or chicken? Shrimp. shrimp. Go shrimp. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm super excited. Just the sheer amount of people here tells me that this place is doing something right. And they are open 24 hours a day, so very interesting. I'm hungry. We're hungry. So, yeah. Yes. She got the lips and iced tea. And I've got only one of my second drinks. Of the holiday, alcoholic beverage. yeah, yeah, second alcoholic beverage of the holiday so far. Cheers! Wow, rice, lovely, black pepper squid, beautiful. Thank you. What's in there? Chili. Yeah. Wow, lovely, lovely, wow. lovely. That's like a chili vinegar. Not in every fish sauce. Yeah. <laughs> That looks like a beautiful pad thai and that's such a hearty portion of squid. Let's go. And that came out super quick. Wow wow wee. Wow, wow, wee. It's fragrant, it's so flavorsome, it's delicious. It's a, it's a great amount of spice. Mm. Mm. Yo, 
It's so good. I'm gonna try the squid with the black pepper. That's lovely. That is lovely. That's lovely. It's fresh. It's peppery. It's got a lovely too. It's delicious. Let me try this now. The prawn with the sauce. I'm gonna get a bit more sauce there. We've hit a winner. We've hit a winner. That's so good. Wow, that flavor is amazing. That flavor is amazing. It's coconutty. It's got a hint of sweetness, but the the spice comes out. It's balanced with the sweet and the spice. It's balanced so well. It's more spicy than it is sweet, but that sweetness plays an important role. And it's just fragrant. But it's coconutty. It's peppery. Ooh, it's good. All right, G's gonna get to the pad thai. We had a good pad thai in Bangkok, so let's see how this one compares. I'm just gonna, do, I'm just gonna give it a quick little shuffle and incorporate everything in. Go for it, go for it. Yeah, there's so good peanuts to talk about. Yum, yum, yum. The seafood is getting off to a good start right now. But yeah, loving the seafood right now. Loving it. Good stuff, good stuff. Enjoy. Alright, and that's pretty much it for our first day, night in Phuket. It was a short one, um, purely because obviously we did arrive here in Phuket just after 5 o'clock. Yeah. So, checked into our accommodation had an amazing dinner yeah the dinner was wicked amazing dinner and so good yeah that panang cool. curry, curry yeah. was delicious for sure and, and we'll show you more of the hostel <laughs> and its happenings across the coming days because we're here for five uh five nights one last thing to end it off we got ourselves a mango steam so we're going to try that right now and let you know how that goes but whilst I'm cracking it open, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel and you like this video, please do give it a like. Please do subscribe to the, please do subscribe to the channel, and all of that good stuff. Oh my goodness! Mm. There's fruits galore here in uh, Thailand, and and we literally oh, picked this I up. I said it's not juicy, but it actually around the corner is. from yeah. our um, accommodation on our way home from. Um, dinner. Oh, it smells so delicious. Mm. I've never had this before, so. I believe I've had it. But I can't <laughs> remember the last time I've had it. But right. I've never had it in Thailand. There you go. Okay, so first time for me, guys. It's juice. I've got a little bag bag here, just to make sure that it doesn't get on the bed. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. There's no seed. That's so nice. No, there's no seed. No? Oh no. Maybe I gave you a... Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. You got the middle bit. Yeah, yeah, which is a seed. Mm -hmm. I have this, which I don't think there is a seed to. Book me. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, that one was better than the first one. Deliciously sweet and creamy. <laughs> That's so good. But thanks for watching, guys. Um, yeah, do like the channel, do like the video, sorry, do subscribe to the channel and if you haven't already seen our videos from Bangkok, give them a watch and yeah, we got more Thailand content to come. Stay tuned, we'll see you soon. See you soon. Bye. Bye.